These are cat's claws. Shut up. Howdy. So if you have a bunch of really bad misbehaving kids, barbed wire is a great way to get them under control. Just kidding. <laughs> Humor people, humor. We have some barbed wire, empty spaces. I'm gonna take you over and show you on the cow pasture that's next to our property. So that's what we're gonna do today. So hold on. We have a cattle field alongside of our property. And while there is an electric fence and barbed wire, there are spaces within there that there is not barbed wire. So I'm like, I told Ryan, I said, dude, I do not want these cows coming in and destroying our palm berm if they ever get through. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna repair spaces. We're gonna repair spaces with barbed wire. In the description below, I hate putting up barbed wire with those old nails. You end up, you gotta really pound them in. You end up bashing your fingers, they don't hold well. There's a new product out, it's really cool. It's a, it's a screw in with a quarter inch driver and man, it holds so well. So today I'm gonna to go over, I've got some, um, I ordered actually 50 foot sections of repair wire. I'm gonna to link to those and I'll link to the actual uh, screw and grabbers, these new cat's claws or whatever they call them. They're just fantastic. So I'll link to them in the description below and then I'll just take you out and show you. So anyways, that's all I'm doing today, quick video. And then I got a bunch more videos coming out. So hit subscribe, doc. All right, so we're out here today, solve a problem, because these are our neighbors. <laughs> And unfortunately, all we have, I don't even know if you can see it. There's one piece of electric fence right here. As, as we go up and down this road, there is barbed wire, but then we have these patches here that don't have any barbed wire. And if that fence ever goes down, I'm gonna have 50 cows tearing apart my pond berm. I just know it. So I told Ryan, I said, I'm just gonna grab I'm just gonna order some barbed wire and we're gonna just stick it up. But I'm gonna show you, um, someone got smart and created, instead of using those U, U nails, um, we're using cat's claw. And it's so much easier and so much better, especially if you just have to do strands. We don't have to do a run a big long thing, we just have to do strands and it's a real simple way to do it. So yeah, we'll put it right. Cows are so stupid. Why do you guys come over here? Huh? <laughs> Why do you guys come over here when we're trying to keep you out of here? You can tell they're young and dumb, but it's like we're trying so to keep I. you away from here. Anyways, so these are the little 50 foot strands of barbed wire that I've got. And then this, um, these are, <laughs> they're sitting here watching me, <laughs> my audience. These are cat's claws. Shut up. And the cat's claws have a little gripper system on it. And then they have a quarter inch driver and these are two inch and they'll go right into the tree over here. So so you can see how this right here grabs into this and it's just not going anywhere. If you just put a regular U-nail in here, you could get some slippage. Here you go, hold that. Of course, I don't have gloves on. And then what we're gonna do with our audience here. The one thing you don't want to do is work on a slippery slope while you're all around barbed wire. <laughs> We're going just straight to the big tree. To go in front of or behind all those other little craps there. And Look at this audience. I'll be here all week. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'll be here all week. <laughs> So all we're gonna do is we're gonna put it up here. There you go. And of course we're not bothering really to stretch it right now. We probably should try and pull it a little bit tauter than that. So I'm gonna have him pull it. I'm gonna back that out. That's the nice thing about these is you can back these out and readjust it if you need to, where if it was a nail, it's staying in there. Yeah. Looks like his name is like Rufus or something. He just looks dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell sneezed? Anyways, so whenever you come to a termination point, all you gotta do is two of these. We put two in anywhere and then we cut it. And now we have nice pretty new barbed wire. We're kind of, we're sitting here waiting to see one of them get shocked. <laughs> Look at that crowd, man. God, that's funny. So one of the nice things about these cat's claws is you can just lean on the wire and then put one in and it's going to be fairly tight. You don't have to have a stretcher out here. If you just had those um, 
those regular U nails, the wire is going to slide out a lot of times. I mean, especially trying to bang those things in. So what we do is when we get to a place where we're going to cut it, we actually have one. I bend back and I put another one back in here. Now Ryan will cut it right there. And then you can see, so now we got a nice clean strand of barbed wire. There's a fence right there, but you can see this old wire is almost gone. Without busting my butt, come down here. Yeah. So you can really see, it's really visual, not just for us, but for the cows too. So they know. And one of the problems is that there's a water hole. They love to come over here in the summertime and hang out. They'll sleep in here. And then there's a water hole down over here. So we just want to make sure that they don't come through here because that'd be a nightmare. I mean, 50 cows. I think this field probably has about 50 head and they're juveniles. Um, they're not the, the main, the older cows and the big longhorn are across the street on that 150 acres over there. So that's installing barbed wire. The one thing about these cat's claws that I like is if you have a nail, they're a pain in the butt. Plus once you nail them in, it's hard to adjust them. With these, you can actually put it up temporarily, have someone get on there and stretch it, and then loosen it, and then retighten it. I love these things. So if you have any barbed wire, put it up. Now, we have been getting tons and tons and tons of rain. <laughs> I have got a skid steer rented just so I can go repair roads. There's Because of the remodel project out there, it's so wet and so muddy. We're having to reshape these roads. We're bringing in gravel. We're bringing in crush and run. So it's been a nightmare out there. Plus, I haven't been able to do my pre-emergent treatment out here on the lawn at the house. It's just been rain, rain, rain. And you do not want to put pre-emergent on a soaking wet lawn and then have another rain come by. Anyways, hit subscribe and I'll walk you through a bunch of stuff and I'll show you some updates. Doc.